Five, four, three, two, one. Hello humans, this is Retro Rocket Man. Today I'm going to be using a expander foam used for filling cracks and holes in walls, around pipes, anything like that. You generally have to just give it a quick shake. It's a messy product, but has a lot of different uses and applications and for my purposes I'm going to attempt to create a cave wall that I eventually want to use as a backdrop. I'm going to be spraying it onto this cardboard box here, just one that I've recycled and cut up. Um, I've tried different methods and spreading it around is very messy, has 101 different uses but hopefully down the track it'll, it'll work as a uh, as a backdrop for some toy photography, uh, future projects that I have, you'll probably see it featured. So once sprayed and left to sit for at least an hour, it's quite firm but still spongy underneath. Once it's dried properly, it's probably best to leave it till the next day because a good five hours apparently, so it would firm up all the way through. You can. Um, carve it, shape it, sand it, paint it, whatever you want. What I'm going to try initially is is to carve it, shape it to um, make it look more like chiseled rock using various knives. First knife, nah, probably a bit too small. Try the next one. Nah, it's a little bit too small. Third one. Yeah, it's still a little bit small, but getting there. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is a knife. This will do the job nicely. Having such a long blade should help me cut into the uh, surface a lot more easily and really hack away at it to get a chiselled, carved out stone wall look. So now that I've done that, um, as you can see I've cut grooves, just random and um, it looks a lot like a granite, chiselled, gnarly looking wall. I've also transplanted some of the other pieces, that are, the offcuts onto, onto the sides. Just stuck them on with glue, PVA glue, just to um, use up some of the waste. And, uh, and then I'm going to spray extra bits to fill in all the gaps and just to make the, uh, the overall look uniform just to tie it all in together. Once it's dried, again, I've got to go through the carving process. Here I'm using a much smaller knife because it's a tighter workspace and it's easier to get into. As you can see, it is, it is quite easy to carve because it's just a uh, a lightweight foam. And you just basically randomly shape things till you get the look you're after. Again, these pieces that you cut off you can transplant and use as you see fit.
It's looking more like a chiseled and carved rock as opposed to would, would resemble um, whipped cream. And then once it's been painted, it'll even look more like a rock wall. And you could paint it whatever colour combination you like. I'll be using acrylic paints. Initially, I'll use a white base coat and then a, a light overspray of grey primer and the effect should be good. So here we have the final result. Quite dramatic. Here it is sitting on my desk. Um, I thought I'd decorate it up with a couple of little skulls I had kicking around. They just give it a whole sinister look. And um, you could dress up your wall with anything, you could uh, put uh, fake plastic um, plants like you might use in a fish tank and uh, give it a mossy rock look, the uh, options are endless. These aren't even stuck in these skulls, they're just sort of wedged in there so I can remove them down the track if I want to and, and do something different which you might see in future videos, but overall I'm quite happy with the end result. There you have it, humans. Uh, this is Retro Rocket Man. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Over and out.